Hey everyone, finished watching the next Jungle Fury episode, Don't Blow That Dough. Odd trivia note, the Shout Factory DVD set misspelled dough as bow in the title, but I think it got fixed on future releases. Arin Shi disguises as a TV repairman and freezes Fran, then zaps the rangers into a TV. The rangers find themselves in chains on a bizarre game show. Their opponents are monsters they've defeated and Camille for some reason. A frizzy-haired host asks questions about past experiences. The answers initiate clips of past episodes that go on far too long, far beyond whatever the question was actually about. The rules aren't really clear. Points go to the monsters, Dominic gets cancelled and disappears. Outside, Fran returns to normal just as RJ arrives. They see on the TV the game show play out. Different teams receive points, contestants get cancelled, and we get repetitive clip after repetitive clip. Fran and RJ try to send the solar morphers into the TV to help the rangers. It works. Casey morphs and gets a hold of the host's little zapper thing and cancels everyone, which frees him and the others from the TV. This episode sure was a waste of everyone's time. The original content here is so minimal that no scab writers are credited. Instead, it's all John Telligen, whose own credits, I guess, make up the majority of this episode. Seeing old monsters return is usually kind of cool, but none of the monsters have personalities, and they're all pretty much interchangeable. Pangolin gets turned into a ball and kicked out, at least. That's something. All their original voice actors are brought back. I'd be more impressed if the monsters actually did anything. The game show host, Cheese McAllister, was played by Jason Hoyt. He also played the Rin Shi, disguised as a TV repairman at the beginning of this episode. He voiced a bunch of one-off monsters throughout the Disney seasons, and in RPM, he played Flynn the Blue Ranger's father. Coincidentally, his name was McAllister. Two similarly named characters in a row. Weird. So yeah, Jungle Fury finally got some momentum going, only to smash it to pieces with one of the worst executed clip shows of not just this season, but the entire show. I'm now looking forward to the Neo Saban era, where they'd have multiple clip shows every season. Even then, though, I don't remember them being as insipid as this one. So yeah, pretty crap episode. Definitely not a good way to handle one of the final episodes, especially with all the Phantom Beast guys still running around. Sure, they'll all get relevant stuff to do, for sure. <laughs> one of the weirdest things with this episode, they escape the dimension, and then that's it just ends. There's no Megazord fight, nothing. There's not even, like, a Sentai footage dump Megazord fight at the end. Why didn't they do that? Like, I know from Geki Ranger, there's, like, a million monsters and things they never use. Why not just tack that on the end? Frustrating. Jungle Fury has been awful. I don't know why people like it. Okay, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya. Let's see! We're almost there. Why are we walking like this?